we're live here cooking at uh, G&G. My name is Josh Silvers. Welcome to Cooking in Sonoma. I'm the chef owner of Syrah Bistro, Jackson's Bar and Oven. We've got some great guests here. We have Chris Silva from St. Francis Winery. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Thanks for having us. This is terrific. Thank you for joining us. And we got chef owner of Stark Steakhouse, Monty's Rotisserie, Willie Seafood, Willie's Wine Bar, that's it, for, that's it for now. That's it for now. Are you yeah, sure? That's Mark it for Stark, now. Chef owner yes. Mark Stark. And then we got Andy from Harris Ranch Beef talking beef here today. So can you tell us a little bit about the meat itself and the Harris Ranch program? You know, the one advantage that I think that Harris has is our consistency. And we have consistency because everything comes out of one plant where the major producers have multi-plants all over the country and different weather conditions or whatever. So the consistency that Harris has, I think, is one of our stronger points. So what we're talking about is braised beef um, and and beef in general. And I've got short ribs. Now, if you guys look at the short ribs here, there's a lot of collagen and a lot of intermuscular fat. And what that does is uh, it breaks down when you braise. And so that means it's going to be really unctuous, really rich. It's going to have a lot, a lot of flavor. I don't know if people actually realize it, but I look, I go to the market and I see these cuts of beef and they're just beautiful. Looking at these short ribs, I mean, they're gorgeous, but then, you know, the, the non-professional maybe look at those and go, what do I do with those? Well, that's what we're going to do here today is show you how to not eat the same thing twice, but basically use the same ingredients. We're going to make a ravioli with them. And then on top of the ravioli, he's going to make a gremolata with fresh horseradish. Big word. Big word, gremolata. It is a big... Maybe you could tell us a little bit about gremolata. Well, uh, what we're going to do today is a loose interpretation of gremolata. Where you see it most often is on uh, Asabuco, another great braised Braised dish dish with uh, veal Veal shanks. And it's a mixture of lemon, parsley, garlic, and uh, sometimes a little bit of anchovies. And now what I've done is I've got this pan really hot. And I've added a little bit of canola oil, and I'm going to put my meat in there. So what I'm going to do is I've got a pan getting hot, and I'm going to salt my uh, short ribs. And I'm going to liberally salt these. And on my recipe, what I like to do is I like to salt the meat the night before. And I think what hel- what that does is it really helps get that salt in there. You know, I think if there's one piece of advice that I always give when we're doing these glasses is using salt correctly. And if a lot of people, well, gosh, you know, I try to cut down on my salt. Well, if you use it properly, you can actually reduce the amount of salt you use. And by that, I mean using salt in the beginning of the cooking process. Because what salt is meant to do is bring out the flavor. Right. And a lot of amateur cooks will use the salt at the end of the cooking process, and you just end up with a salty dish. Mark's giving us a nice sound of the sizzle. And you can hear that, and the meat's starting to brown, and I'm getting this nice caramelization. And we want to get the fat brown because fat is... Flavor, baby. That every chef will tell you fat is flavor. What I've done so far is I've taken those fabulous, nicely browned short ribs out and I've added my maripois. And maripois is a word that just means carrots, onions, celery. You can include other root vegetables, but it's a collection of vegetables named after a little town in France. What I'm going to do is I've, I've caramelized these vegetables and I'm going to add my wine. And I've got some... Portini mushrooms that I've been soaking in a little hot water to rehydrate them. Oh, nice. And I'm going to add my short ribs back. And then I'm just going to pour some of that mushroom stock in there. Mark is pulling his raviolis that he's made into a triangle shape out of some boiling water. And how long were those in there for? They were in there for about two, maybe three minutes. So I just took my filling and I take medium, uh, medium thickness wonton skins and uh, put a little tablespoon of the filling in the middle. And then a little bit of water to help seal them. Fold it over like a little triangle and cook that in well-salted boiling water. So I have my leftover short rib jus, right. uh, a little bit of butter, and I'm going to cook that down until it coats that pasta wonton skin really nicely. We're going to finish it off with a little bit of uh, lemon oil tossed with the chopped parsley and the fresh grated horseradish. Oh, Josh is using a horseradish cream. We're going to use the straight stuff right on to the ravioli here. We're coming to the end of our fabulous time here. But first and foremost, I'd like to thank my guests, Chris and Mark and Andy. Of course, uh, G&G Market for um, supporting this and, and having this amazing kitchen.